The U.S. Special Envoy for the Great Lakes region of Africa, Thomas Parieyo, has just come back from the DR Congo and Burundi after a few stops in some European countries. He says the situation in Burundi is still grave and that he was concerned about the unfortunate military presence he saw in Katanga DRC as the country sets for the general elections later this year. He spoke to the BBC's Sami Awami in this interview in Dar es Salaam. This could be a great year for the Great Lakes. You could see the first peaceful democratic transition in the history of the Democratic Republic of Congo. There are some slight indications that we might be on a path towards peace in Burundi, though far more reasons for concern so far than hope. Uh, what did you make of the situation in Burundi? The situation in, in Burundi is extremely grave. Uh, you have had both a security crisis and a political crisis, and now increasingly you have a very serious economic crisis. Uh, a government that is in very bad fiscal shape. You're feeling that. That's the thing I heard most from the Burundian people uh, was this sense that, uh, that the economy has really ground to a halt. But if you listen to officials in Burundi, but also regional officials, uh, you would sense they are, they are kind of saying like the situation has improved and it's not as bad as uh, international envoys would, would want to portray. Last month, uh, when, you know, the government was, should have been sending an olive branch about its seriousness of talks and about reforms, uh, the High Commissioner for Human Rights documented a dramatic spike in the use of torture, disappearances, and extrajudicial killings. Uh, so the idea that there are some hardliners in the government who still believe uh, that they can use violence and repression to, to solve this problem, unfortunately those voices uh, remain present. Um, we've also seen the use of grenade attacks by the opposition. Um, you've seen violence on an almost nightly basis. Based on the situation right now in, in DRC, do you feel like the country is ready for, for election? The people are definitely ready uh, for elections. The country is incredibly resilient. President Kabila deserves a lot of credit for overseeing this emergence of a constitutional democracy uh, that really has been quite strong. And unfortunately, in the last year, we've seen this systematic backsliding. Uh, nearly a thousand political arrests and detentions last year. We've seen the closing of uh, media houses of opposition voices. Uh, I was just in Katanga where unfortunately they're sending uh, military troops and tanks, all the wrong signals to be sending to ensure uh, that this is a space. You know, the president's called for dialogue and there is some need for everyone to come together and have a conversation about the details. Um, but creating a dialogue is not about sending an invitation, it's about creating the conditions for dialogue. And if you are arresting and detaining and surveilling everyone who disagrees with you, uh, when you're disqualifying all opposition candidates for governor's races that have been um, accelerated forward, those are not things that are creating truly the conditions for, for dialogue. And